Tell us about Pat Hoberg, though, Brig. Bro. I mean, I'm sure like a lot of people probably saw this across social media because this is a really big deal. It's huge a huge deal, deal here. They're saying, and I didn't back this up all the way, but this is the only, only the second time that a World Series umpire has called a perfect game. Now, a perfect game in, in umpire terms is obviously different than it is for a pitcher, but right. this is what it looks like for those of you watching on YouTube. Um, all of the take calls, all of the balls that the pitch the, the batters didn't swing at were called balls. It, he has a 100% overall accuracy for pitches taken outside the zone. It's unbelievable. His overall consistency was 96%. That means a couple of uh, called strike accuracy was was missed. But look at the impact. Well, well, so he called. So his called strike accuracy was 100%. But the consistency, I don't know how you can have an overall consistency of 96%. Yeah, actually, that's still true. be 100%. That doesn't, like, I saw that. That didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And I don't know if, um, if it's because of that top section where it's white in the zone. Yeah. And that could be just that there were no balls thrown there. There were like there were zero pitches in that area, so he didn't right. have any to call, right? That's because there the are point. certain spots, like you look at a at a batter's heat map, there are certain spots where guys aren't going to throw, and like you don't if you're if you're throwing up if you're throwing a fastball up on a guy, you want it to be in because it yeah. t- it's too hard to get in on that. And so I wonder if there just wasn't any fastballs thrown up and in on left-handed batters. That everything was what up and in like. on right-handed batters. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So, and I wonder if that's why it was ninety six percent consistency. Because if he had filled in that whole thing red, if there had been pitchers up there and he got those right too, I think he would probably be up to a hundred percent on that. But ninety six, I'll getting... take that. The important yeah. part is the one hundred percent accuracy on called strikes, one hundred percent accuracy accuracy on called balls. And I'm sure, I... I assure you, Brig, there were times that people looked even on TV and thought that does not look like a ball or that does not look like a strike. And that's what it's going to be like when they're robo umps. It doesn't always that's, look like a strike, right. even though it is. Well, I we've heard from Phillies fans that you know say no way, they still don't believe it, and you know who knows. But this is umpire scorecards. We've been referencing them all season. We're going to continue to because we love the work that they do, and it jives with what we see nine times out of ten. Mm-hmm. So out of eighty nine called balls, they were true balls, and out of forty called strikes. They were all strikes instead of being balls. It was great. I mean, it's awesome. That's why, that's why Pat Hoberg is on this on this umpire crew too. Right. Congratulations to Pat, and thanks for doing a great job. Yep. The end. 